Good morning, guys. How are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Um, today, we're out on the water. We're out on Lake Simcoe, and we're here to catch some smallmouth. Um, yesterday, I actually fished a tournament on Lake Simcoe. Uh, my first one in a couple of years. I fished it with Evan. I don't know if you guys remember. We fished a couple of times last year. And um, today, I actually wasn't going to go out because I'm exhausted but it's such a beautiful day I uh, I just I just had to <laughs> so um, here I am out solo today quick recap of yesterday's tournament I didn't film I wanted to focus on the fishing uh, let me get my phone here we ended up coming in sixth place with 26 eight nine I'll put in some pictures 26 eight nine sixth place um, as you guys can see, Lake Simcoe is a crazy fishery. You catch 20, almost 27 pounds and you come in six. So, uh, yeah, congrats to Corey and Chris Johnson for, uh, taking first, but, um, overall, really, really fun day out. We caught a lot of fish. We just really struggled to catch a couple of, uh, bigger ones, uh, which is, you know, crazy to say since we almost weighed 27 pounds, but we had two fours, um, in the live well that we really, really wanted to call out but we just weren't able to um get those bigger fish to bite we saw them we we saw the ones we needed but we couldn't get them to bite and that's that's like some go for you uh so yeah we did end up getting big fish though evan caught a 763 763 so we ended up getting big fish uh which is great uh but overall really really fun day um and yeah maybe i'll do a couple more here in the future maybe actually film them but uh yeah very nice way to start opener. So I'm gonna get some rods out here and we're gonna get started. Let me show you guys what I got rigged up. Pretty much the same stuff I had rigged up from the tournament yesterday. I haven't changed anything because uh, I literally got home and just went to bed. <laughs> uh, first off here. A little tube, as you guys can see, this is a finesse tube. Uh, I'll show you guys here a little bit later. Um, I use this a lot for opener. It's a 1 8 ounce Freedom Tackle tube head jig in there. Falls really, really slow. They really, really like it. And that's a little uh, set the hook 2.5 inch tube. So that's number one. Of course, we have to have a drop shot. Uh, I don't have anything rigged on here yet, but I think that's about it. If anything, I'll go in here and grab something else, but yeah, let's uh, let's get to fishing. So on opener, they're still relatively shallow. So I'm gonna just fish the shoreline here for a little bit. Um, this bottom isn't the greatest. We like some sand, some grass, some rock. Uh, this has sand, rock, rock and grass, but um, it has like a moss on top of it, which isn't really the greatest. Uh, but that's the great thing about the Mega Live, is I can put my uh, trolling motor on 8 or 10 or whatever, and just shoo, shoo, and uh, look for rock. I can see grass on there too. Uh, I won't see sand, but yeah, this helps a lot with looking for the bottom composition or the bottom structure that I want. There's one. <laughs> oh, I love the guts on these fish. <laughs> the uh, rock just turned into a nice sand and uh, saw a bigger boulder, cast it to it, and he was on it. <laughs> Wow, come on. You're not that big. You are really not that big. Turned. 
come into the net. Be a nice fish. All right. <laughs> There you go. Uh, not that little, probably still go four pounds on that little tube. You literally cannot resist it. Yeah, three and a half. Bye bye, little guy. Thank you. <laughs> this is too fun. <laughs> it's so aggressive this time of year. Haven't seen a bait in a, you know, a couple of months since you know last fall so they're usually pretty juiced up Very nice. Alright guys, so as you can see, this tube is mauled. <laughs> so I'll show you guys how I rig it up. Um, that's the tube head right here. I like 1-8's early season. Um, they're still pretty shallow, so you don't really have to get down too deep. And I feel like they really like that slow, slow fall of the tube. Um, but, <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to retie here. I'll show you guys how I do it. So we have some tubes here. These are some smaller tubes, one and a half and one eighth size. I want to use these ones here. Look at that. Very crawfishy. <laughs> What's this called? Oh, it's called crayfish. Perfect. Um, and what I do is I actually grab some sauce. I lubricate the head with the sauce, makes it easier for the uh, tube head to go into the tube, as well as add some scent. And the rest is pretty simple. Grab the tube. Ooh. And stick it in there. Most of it came out, but still some sauce in there. Poke the head through, and there you go. Nice, juicy head right there. And yeah, it's that simple. <laughs> um, they really like it early season. I use bigger tubes as well, but uh, for Simcoe, I just have a lot of confidence in the smaller ones. And we'll rig it up, and hopefully this one lasts me uh, a couple more fish. There's one. Look at that, just munched the tube. <laughs> there you go, nice one. Mm. I'm eating. <laughs> oh, they're a little deeper here. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's three. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, I'll zoom in there. There's three of them. He looks a little bigger than all the other ones I've been catching. You just spat up a craw. No, oh, he's not that big. Bigger, but not that big. 
in the middle of eating my applesauce. There you go. It's a nice one. There you go, guys. Very pretty fish. I'll go four. All day. <laughs> now let's see if his buddies are still around. That was just on a drop shot. Gotta get another weight. And, uh, yeah. Awesome. Tungsten weights are not cheap. But they do make all the dis difference. <laughs> that one I, uh, what I usually do is I thread it a line through and cinch it down. And then I'll tie a couple of overhand knots on top of that. Just so I don't lose it. That's with tungsten at least. So the Freedom Tackle one quarter ounce. Little one. Woo! <laughs> A little one. That's gonna be the uh, theme for today. Oh wow, there's a lot of them there. Four, five of them, six of them there. <laughs> They're literally all under the boat now. And little guys is the theme for today. <clears throat> Three, four pounders. Maybe we'll find a five somewhere. Out. Oh, guy. Hello. <laughs> See how big he is. I was looking for these fish here. There's a rock point, as you guys can see. Didn't see them cruising up shallow. They're off the edge here a little bit. Looks like. And I don't even think they're that big. He's just fighting like crazy. <laughs> There's a bunch of them there. There's probably five or six on the Mega Live. Well, that might be the biggest of the day. Let's see. They have so much energy. My goodness. That's the biggest of the day. Very nice. Oh yeah, that's a four and a half, right there. There you go guys, nice chunky fish. I was getting uh, my tube hung up in the weeds and freed up my line, so I switched over to the drop shot. All right guys, that is a wrap for our day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's 12 o'clock now, I'm gonna head home. We caught a couple of fish this morning. Um, all on the tube and on the drop shot as you guys saw um, Still a couple fish up shallow, but a lot of the fish have um, Moved off like the spring spawning stuff Water temp is high 60s to low 70s. So it's about that time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm gonna leave links to everything I used down below in the description and I will see you guys in the next one